Welcome back. If you're caught in the weight loss crunch right now, maybe you could lose, you know, use a little boost. Here with a look at protein powders and supplements and how to use them to benefit you is David Moderman, certified fitness and nutrition expert. Thanks for being with us here today. Thanks for having me again. I don't know, could you possibly have gotten um, larger containers to bring with you today? Tall guy needs big containers, <laughs> like I, I guess, need right? Big things like this. Well, let's start with protein. What does it help you do when you're looking to get leaner and you're you're learning to you want to grow muscle mass? How does it work? Honestly, protein powder, in my opinion, is is the best because it's convenient. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean this protein is going to be any better than a chicken breast, right. but it's easily absorbed. It's for good for meal replacements. You can put it in milk and water real quick and drink it. And go and. Um, it's absorbed really quick because it's liquid compared to a solid meal. But protein is going to be great for obviously muscle recovery, building muscle mass. Um, stabilizing blood sugar levels, protein is huge. So if you can have it in a supplement form, it's great to have it for convenience. Okay, kind of helps you get through that hunger right. crunch too, where you might be like the blood pressure dropping, blood sugar dropping, and all that right. good stuff. Well, let's start on this end too. What's this product and and what is it best for? Um, this is actually a protein blend. This is probably the most common one you see sold at most stores. Okay, um, it's a combination of pro protein concentrate, which is a low quality protein compared to the isolate, but it also mixed in with whey isolate. So it's a combination of the two. Um, the combination of the protein blend has a little bit more sugar in it okay. than a regular whey isolate and it also has a little bit more carbs obviously from the sugar and usually a little bit more fat. So okay. it's not as pure as maybe the whey isolate we have. Okay. Now let's talk about the whey. What does that do? I mean, what is that your best protein for? This is perfect for like during your workout, after your workout, before your workout because okay. it's absorbed really quickly. Um, it's micro uh, filtration so it's absorbed really quickly. Um, no carbs, high protein, zero fat. So the more fat and sugar is, the, 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 um, the less absorbed it's going to be. Okay. So what does this do for you during your workout or, or if you take this before your workout, let's say? It will also gi it'll give you a little feel for the workout. Okay. It will give your muscles, that, that protein will be rushed right to your muscles immediately during the for the pro, uh, exercises okay. um, for recovery as well. But before actually that protein, like I said, is rushed right to your muscles and you can use it during your workout. Okay. Um, all right, let's go on to this one, <laughs> this big jug right here, the dried egg whites. The dried egg whites. This is actually going to be a more of a meal replacement. Okay. Um, it's not going to be something I would have maybe before my workout or after my workout because it's going to be slower absorbing. It's going to last longer throughout the day, whereas this absorbed like almost like water. Like you This really is going to be give you more of a fuel throughout the day. Okay. Um, egg protein has the highest uh, biological value, which is, means the highest protein per, per gram than compared to the way I slay, so it's going to be much more beneficial as far as having it as a good source of protein. Obviously, you have eggs, this just makes it easier having an egg white powder. Yeah, right there, already done. Oh, now, what is this one right here? This that is, is actually milk? a milk protein powder. This wears weighs about 20% milk protein. This is actually 80% obviously milk protein. Okay. You think it'd be 100% because it's milk protein. Yeah, you'd think. Now, but what is the advantage to this one? Very slow absorbing, even more slow absorbing than this. A lot of cottage cheese, things like that, has higher the higher milk so casein proteins. It lasts in there. longer. Then? Lasts longer. Could you do something like this, like for breakfast, and would breakfast, that give you more oomph in the morning? Exactly. Good point. Having it before breakfast, having it before you go to bed, or later at night, it's going to last throughout the day. Some people don't want to starve themselves in the middle of the night because it actually can slow down your metabolism. Yes. So having something that's going to um, slowly digest throughout the night will be very beneficial to have like a slow absorbing ah, milk or casein ah, protein. Makes sense because this was I remember when uh, I interviewed um, Hugh Jackman for Wolverine that was part of his workout regimen right. was like four it was like protein like every two to three hours oh, and yeah. he was waking up in the middle of the night chicken breast chicken breast protein yeah metabolism yeah, hours also for the thermic effect your body actually burns calories digesting that protein um, and also for recovery if you're working out really hard I'm sure he's working out really hard for that yeah. movie yeah, you just gotta bit. stay in shape. <laughs> you gotta keep that protein consistent throughout the day. Now, what is this one right here? The hydrolyzed whey protein. This isolate. is like the probably the, the the purest whey isolate you can find. Um, it's a whey peptide, it's absorbing quicker. So this would be. It's a little more expensive. The taste is not as good as this. Okay. Um, but if you're looking this for the best results, we'll, 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 like you're hardcore working out, you don't mind the taste so much. The whey isolate. Way hydroslate is going to be the best. So when I go into bodybuilding, I'm going to be all right. over that, right? When you go out for Mrs. Olympia, right? There go. Right. That was next week, right? Now this is our last one, the soy protein one. Soy protein isolate. This is a very popular protein for vegetarians. Some people don't like the dairy proteins, and this is definitely a, a good source. Um, I personally don't use it. I personally don't recommend to a lot of clients because there's a lot of controversy about it. Okay. Um, far as estrogen levels and risk for cancer in your Ooh, family. Yeah. Those are all things you should be aware of before you take this. It doesn't mean it's bad, it just means the jury's throw out far the benefits in my opinion, and I would say the way I slay and the, and the egg protein is gonna be a better source overall for most people. Now is there any like downside that people should know about about putting this much protein in their system? I mean, I, mean, um, I don't even mean like bad things, but just like you know, side effects to your body that you should know. If you have a problem with dairy products, lactose intolerant, you have to be careful with some, especially like the protein blends, because okay. it's very, 
Could be rough on the intestinal tract. Um, yeah, it does not sound good. <laughs> for some people, the soy protein might be a better option. But I'd say, yeah, be careful with the way. But usually the way isolates are less lactose in it. The milk sugar, that's not going to affect your intestinal tract the same way. So Ooh. it's going to be a better option for you. All right. Well, thanks for kind of breaking it down for us and giving us kind of like the skinny on protein. No you problem. can find more information on Real Results Fitness and David Moderman online at the Take 5 homepage. Now, all this week, we're